gravitational waves are extremely different from electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves, the only kind of radiation that, uh, of, of waves that we have used previously to, de to study the universe, uh, include light, radio waves, x-rays, infrared, uh, gamma rays. These are all oscillations in the electric and magnetic field propagating through space-time. Gravitational waves are the only other kind of wave that can propagate across the universe. Uh, and they are completely different because they are oscillations in the shape of space and time. And because they are so different, because they are produced in very different ways, they are bringing us views of aspects of the universe, phenomena in the universe, that we cannot see electromagnetically. They bring us an entirely new view of the universe. We have never seen black holes collide before, and there was no electromagnetic emission yet discovered from our gravitational wave sources where the two black holes collided. So we learn about black hole collisions that we couldn't learn about before. These collisions, the power output during that collision in a fraction of a second, the first collision, the total power output was 50 times higher than the power from all the stars in the universe put together. Virgo is crucial for the following reason. We need to know where the source of the waves is on the sky. And we get that information primarily by the delay in arrival time of the signal at different locations on Earth. With just two locations in North America, LIGO cannot do that. It requires at least one more detector, Virgo in, in Europe, and then we can triangulate on the sky. We can see where the signals are coming from. We need to know that in order to be able to tell the electromagnetic astronomers uh, and neutrino astrophysicists where to look on the sky, uh, where, where is this signal coming from, so that we can begin to do joint observations uh, with different kinds of radiation. So Virgo is absolutely crucial to this future of, uh, of this field.